In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to simplify a rational expression where you have a single term or monomial in the denominator and a polynomial in the numerator that is a binomial or larger. We will also be looking at a common mistake that is made when simplifying these types of expressions. First, let's consider the common error made when simplifying these types of questions. Simplify the following rational expression. Right away, you see that you have a 3x in both the numerator and denominator. Your first instinct might be to cancel the 3x's for the final answer of negative 9x squared. Or, you might realize that 3x over 3x equals 1, so you reduce this to 1 minus 9x squared. But, these answers are incorrect. Let's take a look at why. Starting with our original rational expression, Let's break it apart into two separate fractions with 3x for the denominator. We have simply changed how we present the original expression. Now, let's simplify each fraction. We can reduce our 3x over 3x to get 1. We can also reduce 9x squared over 3x to get 3x. This leaves us with 1 minus 3x. You can see how our earlier mistakes led us to incorrect answers now. There is one final way we can look at this. There is a common factor of 3x in our numerator. Factor out the 3x to get 3x multiplied by 1 minus 3x, all over 3x. Now, we can cancel our 3x in the numerator and denominator. We can do this because the 3x is a factor of every term in the numerator. When simplifying these types of questions, there are two methods that can be used. We will use both to the simplify the following expression. First method. Factor out the common factor of 4y from the numerator to get 4y multiplied by x plus 3y squared all over 2y. When we simplify, 4 over 2 reduces to 2 in the numerator and the y's cancel. Now, we are going to multiply the 2 back into to get 2x plus 6y squared. We didn't need to do this, but it will make the comparison of answers easier in a moment. Next method. Instead of factoring out a common factor, we can just divide each term in the numerator by the denominator. 4xy divided by 2y gives us 2x, and 12y cubed divided by 2y gives us 6y squared. You can see that this is the same answer we got using the other method. In this lesson, you learned that to reduce a fraction with multiple terms in the numerator and a single term in the denominator, you must have a common factor between all of the terms. You can either factor out a common factor from the numerator and then simplify, or divide each term in the numerator by the denominator.